Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have a question for you. That why carbon is a superhero? Look around you, that plastic bottle, sugar in your tea, the fuel in a car and even the DNA that makes you, yes you. What is the one thing they all have in common? They are all built by one incredible element, carbon. And believe me, that carbon is not just another element on the periodic table. It is a superhero. As your dad is a superhero, in the same way, carbon is a superhero in the periodic table. And today, we are going to uncover its four amazing superpowers that make all the organic chemistry possible. So let's get started. Superpower 1. What is the superpower 1? It's catenation. The power of self-linkage. Carbon's first and most famous superpower is called catenation. This is its ability to form strong covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. Think of it like this, that many elements are social, but they have their limitations. For example, oxygen, which can form a double bond with another oxygen to make O2. Sulfur might form a ring of eight, but then they stop. But carbon, carbon is the ultimate team player. It can link up in the long, endless chains, create complex branches, and even form perfectly stable rings. So this single power creates an infinite number of possible skeletons for organic molecule. It is the foundation of everything. Now, here comes the superpower 2, which is what? It is tetravalency, the power of four arms. But all know that carbon's atomic number is what? It is 6. So its electronic configuration is 2, 4. That means it has 4 electrons in this outer shell. It wants 4 more to become stable. Now it can form not only 1, 2 but 4 bonds. These can be 4 single bonds. It can be 2 double bonds or 1 triple and 1 single. So many combinations are possible. This is not just holding the hands. This is a full on 4 arms hug with another atoms including hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and of course other carbon atoms. This four-armed versatility is what allows for such mind-boggling complexity. Here comes the superpower 3. What is it? It is isomerism, the power of identity change. Now combine catenation and tetravalency and you get carbon's coolest and most confusing power which is isomerism. So here is the trick. Actually, carbon can create completely different different compounds that have exact same number of atoms. They have same molecular formula but different arrangement and these are called isomers. So let me show you one. Take a formula. You will see a lot. There are so many examples. One we are going to take is C4H10. You can arrange these four atoms as a straight chain of four carbon that is called what? It is butane. But you can also arrange them as a chain of three carbons with one carbon in the branching that's called isobutane. So they have what? Same atoms, same formula but different structures, different property. This is why there are millions of organic compounds but carbon is a master of this kind. Now, here comes the superpower 4, which is what? It's bonding with almost everyone. Now, as you know, a true superhero doesn't work alone. So, carbon's fourth power is its ability to form strong bond with a lot of other elements, allies. It bonds seamlessly with hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, halogens like chlorine, bromine, sulfur and phosphorus also. Each of these elements bring its own personality to the molecule, creating a classes of compounds with widely different properties. So, this is a key to diversity. A molecule with just carbon and hydrogen is a fuel. Now, replace one hydrogen with one oxygen hydrogen group, you get an alcohol. Replace it with a different arrangement of oxygen and you get a carboxylic acid the things that make the vinegar sour. It's all about the team it brings along. So, 
let's do a quick recap of why carbon is a boss as we are in a boss now first is the catenation it can form long chain and the rings second what we studied its tetravalency it means it has four bonds to work with third is isomerism that it can make different structures from the same formula and fourth is a strong bonding it team up with many other elements so these four superpowers are the reason that you have an entire branch of chemistry which is named after carbon compounds so it's not the magic it is just an atomic number which is used in the most brilliant way possible thank you if this video helped you in understanding why carbon is so special hit that like button and subscribe for more it really helps the channel next time we will use this knowledge to crack the code and learn how to name any organic molecule trust me iupac nomenclature is a way easier once you know the rules leave a comment below telling me which superpower you think is the coolest thanks for watching and see you in the next one thank you